New Red Dead Online update. For online, this game has had an incredibly rough beginning to 2020, but for story mode, however, lots of players will be extremely pleased this week. So, Red Dead Online catalog editions for Xbox One, PC, and Stadia, plus XP boost, photo mode comes to Xbox One, and more. So, the catalog editions and the Beaver Hollow hideout. New clothing and emotes come to Xbox One, PC, and Stadia. Four new clothing items and five new emotes are now available for Red Dead Online players on Xbox One, PC, and Stadia, along with the Beaver Hollow hideout, home to the notorious Murphy Brood. As we go along with the rest of this update, let me know your thoughts down below. What excites you about this week's update? Is there anything on your mind? I'd love to hear what you have to say. I always enjoy asking you guys how you feel about each individual piece a part of these weekly updates, so any feedback from you is greatly appreciated, but if you are new to the channel, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things Red Dead Online and Red Dead Redemption 2, especially if you are a part of that 76% of people who have checked out the content but may not necessarily be subscribed. If you guys want to stay up to date with all things Red Dead Online on a daily basis, the content will still be here all the same, but the option to sub is definitely there for you. But anyways though, let's start talking about the changes at hand in this week's weekly Red Dead Online update. We have some new apparel, the Salizo Double Bandolier, the Starrett Hat, the Rolfo Boots, and the Gordillo Half Chaps. These were all of the clothing items that were exclusive to PlayStation 4 when Moonshiners dropped. And we also have some new emotes like the Hat Flick, Subtle Wave, the You vs. Me emote, the Howl emote, and the Jovial Laugh emote. This week, we also have some new bonuses and benefits, rank offers, character XP boosts, and a whole lot more. Do you want to improve your weapons, munitions, and your supplies? Well, there's a 30% discount on all weapon barrels, sights, scopes, and stock upgrades, but this excludes metal engravings for weapons, as well as discounts on all pamphlets from the fence to craft powerful ammo like fire arrows or medicines like Special Horse Reviver. Now, this is interesting because the weapon barrels, the attachments, things like that, most people have upgraded their weapons unless you just flat out refuse to, but what is good is the 30% discount on the pamphlets at the fence. If you guys have not purchased pamphlets from the fence yet, like crafting, you know, potent tonics and things like this, or gotten explosive ammo or dynamite arrows, these are good things to fend off griefers if you're getting harassed and read that online, definitely take advantage of it now because the pamphlets at the fence haven't been on sale and on discount for a couple of months and they probably won't come back to being on sale for another couple of months. So definitely make sure you cop those. Now, newer players who reach rank 10 before January 27th will receive an offer for 30% off a weapon of their choice. And if you crack rank 20 before the cutoff date, players will receive an offer for 30% off any horse of their choice. They can be sure to visit the benefits section to pick up those along with all the other ongoing offers and rewards for the rest of us players here in Red Dead Online. I really wish Rockstar would do some stuff for higher level players. It's always for newer players. Rockstar is always advertising on social media about these DLC updates, etc. Just to get new players to play, but then they hop on and they have the same buggy experience as the rest of everyone who's been playing for over a year now, and then they leave. So I really think Rockstar should start appealing to both ends of the spectrum. New players should get some bonuses and discounts and rewards, and also veteran players should get some high rank and high level rewards just to show their dedication to the game, because that would keep people playing as well. Right now, new players hop on, hate the game, and then they leave forever. But also this week, for a 50% XP boost, you can revisit familiar faces like Josiah Trelawney and Sean McGuire to embark on free roam missions, or see Horley to lend a hand in a Land of Opportunities online story missions. You will be getting 50% XP for these, so that is pretty sweet. That is good if you want to rank up as well. Again, this more appeals to the lower ranks, but nonetheless, 50% XP boost is pretty good. We typically don't get over 30 or 35% in terms of weekly bonuses and discounts. It's a very far cry to get a double XP or double money or double gold opportunity in this game. It's only happened like once, and I really hope we see something like that again. Twitch Prime members who've linked their Rockstar Social Club account can get an extra 10% discount on top of that, along with the collector's bag and the polished copper moonshine still for free. All you need to do is visit Twitch Prime and sign up. Remember, Twitch Prime is included with Amazon Prime, so if you or your family members, like your parents or your friends or anyone in your life, has Amazon Prime, make sure to link your Twitch account. See if they will give you their Amazon account so that you can link this stuff up, hit the crown icon in the top right, and claim your Red Dead Online loot. And then also this week, PlayStation Plus members can still receive a free colorway of the Levitt jacket. And all players who verify their social club email address and set up two-step verification on their accounts between January 7th and January 13th will finally receive their offers of five gold bars for Outlaw Pass number two. 
the bounty hunter license, the trader's butcher table, and collector's bag for any items they don't already own via the benefits section. And then lastly, photo mode and story mode editions now available on Xbox One. It originally came out on PC at release, and the PlayStation 4 got it with the Moonshiners update in December, and now Xbox One players have all the story mode DLC content. Basically, it's a lot of stuff that's in online that's now in story mode. So, Xbox One players can now enjoy all the story mode updates previously only available in Red Dead Redemption 2 for PlayStation, PC, and Stadia. This includes photo mode, which gives you tools to take stunning shots in Red Dead Redemption 2 story mode and share them to social club like these photos I'm about to show on screen. It's actually really cool that Rockstar did this this time around. I wish they would do this more. They used to do this with GTA 5 in the past, then they kind of stopped. And so now we've had a little bit of community outreach here, a little bit of engagement with the fans, just some hand-picked story mode photos using the photo mode in story mode on Red Dead Redemption 2 on Xbox One. And as you guys can check out, we have a shot from YouTuber, director, streamer, and voice actor Dan's News who's been cataloging his Red Dead Redemption 2 playthrough on PC via stunning pictures like this one that we're showing on screen. Next up, we have Weekend Meme coming in with this amazing, it looks almost like an illustration, but it's actually an in-game screenshot taken using the photo mode and edited to give this type of effect. It's like very noir-esque and I love it. Next up, we have Alex Sniper Bullet coming in with Arthur Morgan with his legendary hat, also looking through the binoculars, an amazing shot. The reason he got this color or the way he got these colors is by using one of the filters. For those of you on Xbox One, you can use this photo mode and apply filters like this to make your shots look pretty cool. It's got the same blue and yellow type of effect here that's complementary colors. You'll mostly see it in film. This is a different type of effect, but it's the same type of color palette. And then lastly, we have Captain Galahad coming in with this amazing shot here, just riding through the Lemoyne area by this dead tree, riding through on a horse with a beautiful sun and sunset in the background and also now available on xbox one in story mode is the rest of the content so we have story mode bounty hunter missions where you can track down wanted criminals like ermin zizendorf and camille de millamont and also bart kavanaugh we also have some story mode gang hideouts where you can take on the deadly del lobo's gang at gap tooth breach and solomon's folly we have some story mode treasure maps landmark of the riches which is one and then also the elemental trail for the second treasure map a new story mode mission called To the Ends of the Earth, and then all the weapons from Red Dead Online have been added to the story mode like the Evans Repeater, the High Roller Revolver, and the Lamat Revolver, and of course the M1899 Pistol which is only in the story mode. It is not an online on any console yet, or any platform I should say. We also have some online horses added to story mode as well as just some new horses in the story mode in general. The Red Chestnut Arabian is coming to the story mode, it's in online, but we also have some new story mode horses like the Warped Brindle Arabian, the Fuse spot Appaloosa and then the Perlino and Illusion I think that came out in online as well back with the spring update in May 14th and then lastly on Xbox one in story mode we have some new hidden trinkets that were added like the hawk talon the cat eye the shark tooth the turtle shell and crow beak I just wanted to show you guys those story mode screenshots because again I think it's really cool that Rockstar was able to do this on their newswire and I wish that it wasn't just like a one-time thing I hope they would like keep up with this and just show off some shots every single week so players can get a look at like exactly what players are using story mode for how they're taking their photos because I know that's a very big thing with Instagram and now it's getting shown off in the newswire shining some light on it that's pretty sweet but, but with that being said is there anything in particular you really like with this update like myself do you feel like Red Dead Online is going in the right direction right now or do you have some other thoughts? Most of all, right now, I guess kind of with this newswire, because considering I was waiting so late in the morning to get this, I get really frustrated when Rockstar refuses to communicate with their customers, especially when the game is in such a sad state as it is right now. I don't know why they necessarily feel like they don't owe it to us, their own customers, to be transparent. I think that's completely arrogant and quite pathetic behavior, but it's been like that for a while and it's clear, especially with the way the gaming industry is in 2020. I think that behavior needs to change. We only occasionally get the, hey, here's what we're doing with the game when a new DLC is ready to be announced and released, but we hardly ever, mostly never, get to hear the, hey, here is why we are doing what we're doing with this game. And this week, we had a few community references, which I do appreciate, and I wish they would just stick to that and do that more, because I'm sure everyone in the community would greatly appreciate that, whether it's showing off screenshots people are taking and photos, or just communicating with us, talking about how they're gonna fix this game and what they're working on, maybe like a 
Trello board where we can leave our own feedback and not just send it to, you know, off into space if you access the Red Dead Online feedback page and just send it off to them for them to read and hopefully implement or change later down the road. It would be awesome to kind of get like some real time feedback from the developers. Like here's what they are currently working on, even though they haven't officially announced anything just yet. That would be nice. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Red Dead Online and Red Dead Redemption 2. If you want to stay up to date with updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you guys also want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube. I practically live on all three of those websites. I live stream on Twitch every single day, so for those of you interested in seeing more Red Dead Online gameplay, because I know I don't necessarily do live commentaries here on the channel, go over to my Twitch. You don't need an account to watch. It's absolutely free, and I'm live for over five hours every single night. But you can feel free to strike up a conversation or ask me a question over on Twitter and Instagram as well. Whatever it may be, you can follow me at HazardousHDTV, and all of my social media links, including my Discord, can be found in the description down below. And with that said, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead online video. Adios, amigos.